Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had somebody ask us to create a sticky announcement bar. When they scroll down the page, they want it to appear. If we roll down, there it is right there in the middle. When it gets to the top, it wants to stick just under the menu and stay there while they're scrolling down the rest of the page there. Then it'll stay there till we go back up to the position it was in and it will return to where it was. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. This is all done with the inbuilt features of the Divi scene itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll get rid of the one that I've got here and we'll start from scratch. OK, well, go down to where it is you want to work. I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to use a 50-50 so we can use text on the left and a button on the right. I'm going to put a blurb module in the left hand column. Put what you want your promo bar to say up there. Massive sale on three days. I don't really want any content and you can use either or the title or the content to do this today. Image and icon. Well, I want to use an icon. And there's plenty to choose from. Divi's just teamed up with Font Awesome 4. Let's do a search for sale. Yeah, that's what I used before. I got that little ticket icon there. Fantastic, but I want that icon on the left over here. So let's go over to design, image and icon. Icon placement top. Let's put it on the left. I'm going to leave that just there for a moment and we'll come back and style it. Let's pop a button into our right hand column here. Add new module. There's a Divi button module. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to pop it in the middle and make it a little bit smaller. We'll come back and style this in a moment too. Go down to my button. Use custom styles for button. Just to make that text a bit smaller because I don't want my little announcement bar to be too wide. That'll work. Like I say, we'll come back and style that in a minute. Great. Well, let's go into our row. Green tab for a row. Blue tab for a section. Dark tab for a module. We want to go into the row. I'm actually going to make this row full width. So it goes the whole of our screen width here. To do that, go over to design. Sizing. I'm going to drag the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, Control C, and paste it in down below. We've now got a full width row. Demonstrate that, I'll put a background in there. So in the content of the row, we can go down. And you'll always find background under the content tab with the link. So in the background, let's put a simple gradient. That's what I used before. And I'm going to switch out that green for a black, perhaps. That'll work for me. Can't really read the things too well there, but that's OK. As I say, we're going to style those in a moment. It's a little wider than I want it. So let's make it a little skinnier using a bit of padding or actually taking a bit of padding away. So in the design, and again, this is always where you'll find spacing and sizing in all modules. Let's say just try 10 pixels on the top. It's not too bad. I'm kind of looking at the button over here. I don't think we can use similar on the bottom. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, might want to take it up just a little bit on the bottom there. It's entirely up to you. Wherever it is that the button is going to work for you. We may have to readjust this when we do our blurb module. So we've got our kind of announcement bar there. Let's just save our changes here in the row. We'll go back and make this more legible. I'm going to go into my blurb module. I'm going to go over to the design. Image and icon, I'm going to make the text and the icon light in color or white for this particular case. There's that one. If we roll down to the text. Here's the text. I'm going to make that light in color. Great. OK, remember this is our title text and you can get to the title text either by scrolling down or just hitting the little pencil icon that's beside it there. 
And here we are at the title text. I'm going to capitalize mine. You know, make it semi bold so it stands out a little bit better. There we go. But I want it kind of more in line in the middle of our little icon there. And I'll, I'm going to adjust it with some line height, title line height down here. The more you take it to the right, the more you'll see it adds a bit of space on the top there until it's in the middle. But we're adding a bit of depth to our bar there. So we can take a bit more padding away from our bar to correct that. Great. And we'll do that when we get back in the row. Let's go over to our button there. Now, obviously, you're going to want to put a link in there and probably something more specific like shop now or whatever it is you want to get the attention of your viewers with. Down below, we've got the link for the button. Pop your link in there, obviously, where you want to take them. If you're linking to your own site, always leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to a different shop site or something like that, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. I'll just put a hashtag in there in place of a link. Okay, well, let's style out that button a little bit. I'm going to go over to design, back down to button. We've already got custom styles of button open or on yes. 15 picks, I think that works for that. I want that text to be light in color. Let's give it a background that's going to stand out. I think I used a bright green before. It's kind of crazy. Don't want any border on there. Uh, text, I'm going to make it uppercase too. I think it'll give it a little bit of text shadow behind it, make it stand off a bit. I'm not going to show a button icon on that one. Here's our text shadow. Just lifts it off that button a little bit more. I think that's all I really want to do for that. Great. Well, we've got our items pretty much where we want them. You can play around with the sizing of this. I'll show you that in a moment. If you want to move it over, you can move it over. Or you can make more columns and make things small and put them in the middle. I'm keeping this very simple. I think I'll go into my blurb though. I'm going to make it 100%. That way the icon will be way over to the left there. And we can align the title where we want it. So in the blurb, I'm going to go to design. To sizing. Content width. I'm going to make that actually 100%. So it's 100 and a percentage sign. So it's going to take up. 100% of the available width, which is the column it's sitting in, which works for me. Now let's go to the title text. And again, we can just go to a little pencil icon. And you can decide where you want it. Middle, right if you want it up over this side. I'm going to keep mine in the middle that way. On mobile and tablet, they'll all stack nicely on top of each other. Great. Well, let's adjust our little row here. Shave it a little bit more padding off the bottom so it's not quite as deep there. Or so it's got similar padding top and bottom. So again, we're going to go into the green tab, the row. Design. Spacing. And let's start shaving some off of the bottom. Make sure that the chain's not checked or it will do both at the same time. Just take this down. About where we want it. I'm using by eye. I think something like that's okay. Maybe a little bit less even. That's going to work for me. Get it how you want it. Great. Well, now comes the fun part. We want to decide what we want to do with this. Have it stick to the top. Have it stick to the bottom. Really easy. And we do this all in the row settings. Go over to advanced. Roll on down. You'll find scroll effects. Sticky position. This is what we want to adjust here. I want it to stick. I want it to stick to the top of the page, or you can have it stick to the bottom of the page. Let's just stick it to the top. And if I roll up there, you'll see it sticks to the top, which is exactly what I want today. But you can have it, if I roll down, it disappears. You can have it stick to the top and the bottom. Stick to the top and bottom. Now when I roll down, it's sticking to the bottom there. I roll up, it'll stick to the top. So it's entirely up to you how you have that. If you want to keep it there at all times, stick to the top and bottom. I'm just going to have mine stick to the top. Now you can decide where you want it to stop sticking. I want it to stick to the top at all times, so I'm going to leave it on none. But you can choose body area or the section that it's in. 
You can also offset it so it doesn't quite hit the top of there, but I like mine to stick right there on the top, just under the header right there. Great, so if we've done everything correctly, this should work out. Let's save our changes. Little purple button to save the page changes down here. And let's exit the Visual Builder. If we roll on down there, there's our little bar coming into view. It's going to stick the header right there. We can continue scrolling down the rest of the page and roll back up again. It'll go back to where it was. So there you go. There's how to create a sticky announcement bar that'll appear and stick to the bottom of your header up there. I hope that answered that question. I believe we've done similar before. But that's a really useful feature. No coding involved whatsoever. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or create a video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.